Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the remaining time specifications of the second order system. In that the peak overshoot. So, what is the peak overshoot means? We can name we can name it as maximum peak. So it is name it as the maximum peak also MP. Maximum P. The formula, what is the meaning of peak overshoot means? Magnitude of peak means here the magnitude between magnitude between um, unit magnitude and this is the final magnitude and the peak magnitude. This is the peak magnitude. That means at TP the magnitude at peak time period TP. This is magnitude for unit magnitude. This magnitude is known as the peak overshoot. So that is called as the maximum peak or peak overshoot. So this peak overshoot is represents with MP. That value is MP equal mag magnitude at peak time period minus magnitude at infinite. Infinite means steady state. What is the meaning of C? Output output at steady state. What is the meaning of steady state? So for example, to understand clearly, once again, this is the steady state output. But to reach the steady state output, actual output will be varies like this. And at particular time period, it will become the steady state output. Up to this, this output is known as the transient state output, TS state. So which fixed value, study value, this output is study state output. Okay, don't confuse here. Right. So we can take this percentage values, maximum peak overshoot in percentage values. That is output peak minus the steady state output by steady state output into 100 in terms of percentage we can write so this by solving this we will get directly maximum peak value is this value e power minus zeta n phi by root of 1 minus zeta square so this is the value of the maximum peak and we can take the percentage also percentage of maximum peak value is it is multiplied by the 100 that is e power minus zeta n phi by root of 1 minus zeta square into 100 so this is also the peak magnitude value okay this is the peak magnitude value so so we will discuss here so in this diagram so this is the maximum peak value so this is the maximum peak value this is known as the maximum peak or peak overshoot this length this length this magnitude from this point to this point this point is steady state output and this point is peak output between these two points this is the maximum peak that maximum peak value is this is the value e power minus theta n phi by root of one root of one minus theta square so here also we can use if n values is represented here if n value is n value is 1 3 5 and so on these represents overshoot upper peaks next if n values are 2 4 6 and so on these values are undershoot that means below values undershoots these are the overshoots and these are the undershoots that means so for n equal to 1 this give this value for n equal to 2 this magnitude will give n equal 5 this magnitude will be given for 
n equal to 2 this magnitude will be given n equal to 4 this magnitude will be given and n equal to 6 this magnitude will be given these are the different different magnitudes we will find out these magnitudes also so this is about the peak overshoot and the next topic is the settling time so settling time means first we will write settling time is represents with the ts so it is defined time required to reach the time required to system to settle down system to settle down what is the meaning of settle down we will discuss here or we can name it the another definition the definition is time required for response rise from 0 to specified tolerance and we can name it another definition that is time required for the response the response to rise from to rise from 0 to specified tolerance specified tolerance specified tolerance means it has some limits okay so first what is settling time settling time means if you observe the diagram there if you observe the diagram so this is the zero starts from zero time and this is the unit step time one and if you observe here while applying this we will have this type of and finally it will reach so settling time means look at here we are giving generally unit step input means we are giving the this type of input this is the input and this is the output we are getting the output is like this input is the fixed value generally the magnitude is 1 with respect to time and the output is magnitude output time magnitudes varies like this it will be changes it will be time. settling time means time required to reach the steady state this time that means the steady state means the output must be the constant the output must be the constant value this value then the time required to reach this point is known as the settling time okay and the tolerance means look at here tolerance means uh, for example 2 percent so tolerance means and 2 percent tolerance of 2 percent meaning is simply it will reach 98 percent of the steady state value I mean 2 percent 2 percent is less it has and the tolerance of 3 per, uh, 5 percent means and the output will reach 95 percent of settling time 95 percent of steady state in that steady state it will reach the 95 percent maybe this point may be the 95 percent and 2 percent means maybe this point less value is the steady state it will reach 98 percent is consisting of the 2 percent of tolerance and it will have 95 percent of the steady state it consisting of the 5 percent of the tolerance okay for that we have different different formulas so depends on the tolerance we can write the formula of the settling time so here take the tolerance and next is settling time settling time ts yes so here first there is no tolerance for example zero percent tolerance that means it will reach hundred percent zero percent tolerance means it will reach hundred percent of the steady state so then the settling time we can write five time constants five tau so five time constants five after five time constants it will reach hundred percent 
you know what is time constant formula 1 by zeta omega n next second the say the tolerance is plus or minus 2 percent is tolerance then it will take four time constants so it will take four time constant after four time constant it will reach two percent of tolerance that is four into one by zeta omega n next third point here it consisting of the five percent of tolerance it requires it requires five percent of tolerance it requires three time constants that means three times of one by zeta omega n understand so to to reach hundred percent of the output it requires five time constant to to reach two percent of the tolerance that means it has ninety percent or ninety eight percent final value it will reach four it will require four time constants it has 5% that means it will reach 90% of the study value it requires 3 time constant this value okay so this is the settling time parameter of the second order system settling time parameter of second order system okay next next specification is time period of oscillations so we have some oscillations what is the time period required okay what is the time period required what is the meaning here so same thing whenever we are applying the second order system then we have here we have the values is varies like this so it will reach like this here up to this it have oscillations up to this point it has the oscillations okay and after that it will become the constant after that it will become the constant so what is the time period now what is the time period we required for that so here generally we know system is generally a damped system this is the damped system system is damped that means there is no oscillations actually okay that means it is not having natural frequency of oscillations for example one system is damping damping means it doesn't have any oscillations it is not having any oscillations having any oscillations so this is the thing we know that generally we have oscillating frequency oscillating frequency it is damped but up to some period we have some oscillations that oscillation frequency is known as WD that is called damped frequency you know that the formula is omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square okay so here you know omega d I can write like this 2 phi by t 2 phi by t 2 phi is the time period t is in time 2 phi in complete radiance t in time so from this we can write the t value t equal to 2 phi by omega d 2 phi in radiance and this is in radiance and omega d also in radian per second both radians will be cancelled we will get the second and <coughs> you know that here the time period is 2 phi by d but phi by omega d you know the phi by omega d that is the peak time we already discussed about this calculation that value is the peak time so substitute this value in the above equation <coughs> you will get time period is 2 into p 2 peak times will give the total time period total time period so that's why we can write the equation the formula is 2 phi by t is the formula or 2 phi by omega d 2 phi by omega d
so this is for the time period of oscillations time period of oscillations so there is a relation between frequency time period of oscillation have relation with the peak time and the time period formula okay and this is the formula this is about the time period of oscillations okay so these are the parameters we have to analyze in the second order system which have under damped system and the input is the unit step input so i hope you understand about the peak overshoot and the settling time and the time period of oscillations okay thank you